Okay, hello guys. By the end of this video, you're gonna have your NA10 instance installed on your PC locally, fully accessible, publicly to use it and start building your workflows. Let's start installing it. The first and the quickest way to install and start trying NA10 is by going to their site, going to their website, click get started, just fill this form click start free 14 day trial and you're gonna straight away see see this NA10 screen for 14 days for free but it's gonna be empty because these are my workflows so this is the easiest way the way that today I'm gonna show you is via docker desktop this is a containerization software that we're gonna install so go to docker desktop go to google search for docker go to docker desktop website click download docker and click for your operation system for example my one is windows i'm gonna click windows i have already downloaded it but i'm gonna download it again let's click save then wait for it to be downloaded and start the installer click run it's gonna ask you for admin permissions click yes and you're gonna see window like this I already have it installed so I'm not gonna install it you have to just click next 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 and install here as the usual installation and close it and then you have to open docker desktop this is docker you're not gonna see this you're gonna see an empty uh, empty window you don't have to sign up you don't have to do anything here you just click on search here above you have to search for NA10 and look for the image that says NA10 IO NA10 and you click pull and when it pulls it pull means download it's gonna download it to your uh, to your PC and you're gonna see this image in the images tab from left you're gonna see this image and you're gonna click run when you click run it's gonna ask you for settings of the container that it's gonna create the container means that it's gonna create an NA10 instance on your PC so click the optional settings write container name let's say NA10 tutorial host port you have to choose a port my other one is on 555 five, five, so I can choose for example 5544 uh, just choose a port here this port is gonna be used later in the video host path this is the path that the NA10 is gonna use to save the files click browse and you're gonna see your PC documents and it's gonna uh, I already created once NA10 tutorial but when you go to your documents or whatever you want just click new folder create a folder let's say NA10 tutorial 2 enter the folder and click select folder when you select the folder this is gonna be NA10 NA10 is gonna save the files here then you have to then you have to fill the environmental variables and the container path for the NA10 the usual container path is this dash home dash node dot NA10 I'm gonna give all of these uh, details to copy and paste for you in the workflow walkthrough in the descriptions them but if you want to follow along with the video just write this and we starting with the environmental variables so the first variable that we're gonna use is all of them are in capital case NA10 underscore editor underscore base underscore URL this is gonna be the URL that is gonna be used with ngrok to 
make this our N8 and instance from our PC publicly accessible. We're gonna put this value a bit later because we have to get it from ngrok. I'm gonna show here you can fill webhook underscore URL. This is gonna be the same URL that we're gonna use above. Next one is gonna be N8 and community package allow anything community package allow tools we're gonna make it true with you have to write it with lowercase and na10 na10 default binary data mode it's gonna be file system this means when you're using binary data in NA10, where these files are going to be saved. So it's going to be in the file system. So now for these two values, we have to make a registration in ngrok. Go to uh, Google, write ngrok.com. And you have to sign up here for free. It's going to ask you to save your secret words just make sure to save them somewhere because after that you can't authenticate yourself when you save your words you're gonna make install Microsoft Authenticator on your phone and now when I'm logging in with my account it's gonna ask me to authenticate so I'm going on my phone to Microsoft Authenticator and I'm using the registration for this email that I do to generate the code And that's it. Once once you logged in in Engrok website, you go down, you click download, download for Windows, and just download it. I have it already downloaded, but I'm gonna download it again. It's okay. And you have to go and open the archive. When you open the archive, you're gonna see Engrok application file. You have to extract it. go to the folder where you ex have extracted it and open it and when you open it it's gonna show this screen and you're gonna be in the folder that this file is located after that go to the website you have to run this command run the following command to add your authentication token in this ngrok yml configuration file which is on your pc just copy this go to the don't close this window go to this window paste it and run it it's gonna be saved in your username update local ngrok ngrok yml so you already got your authentication tokens in your pc so minimize this go again to your ngrok web page and you have to get a static domain and in order to get your static domain deployed this is going to be the URL that is going to be publicly accessible uh, for you to access your NA10 instance. Just copy this and this URL we're going to put it in Docker editor base URLs. And you have to write here HTTPS and remember you have to write the S. This is really important because if you write HTTP it's not going to work. And paste your ngrok link from from your, your static domain page on your ngrok website okay and just copy this copy this whole value and paste it on the webhook url as well so these are the environmental variables that you will need to publicly access your NA10 instance which is running on your PC and when you click run now it's gonna install NA10 instance with in the container NA10 tutorial and it's gonna show that editor is now accessible via 
this link and when you click this link it's not gonna work because we haven't started our ngrok tunnel so after that go to setup ngrok and this is the this is the command that you have to copy and use the same folder so in your command prompt you have to be in the same folder that you have extracted your ngrok.exe file command here just paste the command and just change to use the port that you have used in your docker so you have we have used 5544 and we have to write here 5544 and when we run it it's gonna make a tunnel which is gonna re redirect from this publicly available link publicly accessible link is gonna go to our local host so you're gonna be able to access your NA10 instance from wherever you want uh, <coughs> as long as your PC is on and now if you try to uh, go to this link just click visit site and it's gonna open us an NA10 instance installed just write your email just any email first name let's say pro last name if just write your password click next just select whatever you want here and that is it's not making any difference get started send me a free license key and you're gonna receive it to this email but I'm I have it already so I'm gonna skip it but now I'm gonna show you how to use it send me the free license key they're gonna send it to your email let me access my email and you you're gonna receive this type of email you're gonna copy the license key you're gonna go to your profile name click the three dot settings uh, click enter activation paste the key here activate and that's it you're gonna be activated and after that let's start a workflow click step trigger manually let's say let's use webhook and now you can see here that you can use this webhook URL that is publicly available to get information from it we can test it for example we're gonna copy this URL you're gonna go to postman.com postman.com is a site that you can try HTTP requests here I'm just gonna log in with any of my emails and send API request and here you can send all kind of HTTP requests to certain links URLs just to try what they gonna respond so we're gonna try to send a request to our webhook just to see that the, it's receiving information from some source that is not in our in our home internet system okay test URL we're gonna copy this paste the URL here we're gonna post just put something in key and values I'm gonna put listen to test event and just send the post request and now we can see because this webhook is not registered for post request did you mean get request if you if we put get request because we got it get request here and send it workflow has started and we've got the information from postman and this is showing that already our webhooks are working <coughs> so we can try we can test our HTTP request as well to see that 
if we have access to internet we can just write here http as google.com and if we get some kind of html result it's gonna mean that we have access to internet and yes we have because we have the google.com html here request and this is it you've got your na10 installs installed on your pc and use, use it with webhooks http requests all kind of api requests and you can start building your workflows right away and after that you have to deploy them you can just copy your workflow preset it and put it on the client's host or server wherever they are using it after that just one more thing whenever you start your PC you have to start your PC and open docker desktop maybe it's gonna be on your startup and you just have to run your container for example I'm gonna stop my container now this is any 10 tutorial uh, and now this is not gonna work when we refresh it it's not gonna be available and when you start your PC you just go to any go to your docker you start your container it's gonna start running and also you have to open your command prompt go to the with with CD you can access directories you have to go to the directory where is your uh, where is your ngrok file located or the easiest way is straight away go to the folder that your ngrok file is located just open it just open the file and you have to run the command from ngrok here you have to run this command you can uh, you can copy and paste this command somewhere on a text file for example here and edit your port just to be able to easily copy it whenever you run this you're gonna see just paste run it and your na10 is publicly available again when you click the link it's gonna straight away open your na10 workflow and that's it thank you for watching hopefully everything is easy for you to install and now you have your na10 instance installed and you can use it publicly as long as your pc is on on the next videos i'm going to show it how to make your na10 uh, install your na10 on a cloud host which is going to cost you around 20 dollars per month but you're going to use it without any limitations without any api rate limits and anything make sure you subscribe like and for the for all of the informations and environmental variables that we are using in this video click the link in the description and download them copy all of all of the environmental variables put them and use them for free thank you